E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about yet another Dean Koontz book. This time we are talking about The Door to December. And before we let Ebert read you guys the synopsis, Ebert is of course my new electronic blurb reading technology, I am going to choose a different voice from him. I have a couple of uh, listed items here that I'm just going to choose from. So, and one has really piqued my interest, and that one is labeled Mobster. Ebert, go! A call in the middle of the night summoned psychiatrist Laura McCaffrey out into the rain-swept streets of Los Angeles. The police had found her husband beaten to death, but what of her daughter, Melanie, whom he had kidnapped six years earlier? At the brutal murder scene, the police lead Laura into her husband's makeshift lab and open the door to a rising tide of terror that has trapped Melanie in its midst. Okay, so that is what The Door to December is all about. Uh, this book was originally published under the pen name of Richard Page. It's not one that Dean Koontz used a lot, but it's one of the ones I didn't even realize. I thought, I thought this was a Lay Lee Nichols book, um, but it's Richard Page. Page is spelled P-A-I-G-E. It's yet another uh, pen name, and not Owen West or Lee Nichols or any of the ones that he used a lot, um, or... D.K. Dwyer? Is that it? I can't remember. This one, <laughs> whew, uh, it's long, it is tedious, it is a slog, and I didn't like it at all. There is a section of this book, it is a 60-page chapter right about the middle of the book that hops back and forth between two detectives arguing and a very tense scene between the main character, um, the, is a, the main character is a female, um, I can't even remember, I can't remember any of their names. I think the detective's name was, uh, Malone or Maloney, something like that, and maybe Dan, Dan Muldane? Is that it? Muldane? I don't know. If you know, down there in the doobly doo uh, Dilly and me, uh, once again, that's who I've been reading all these books with, all these Dean Koontz books. We read this one, and we both felt the exact same way about it. It is your typical Dean Koontz excursion without the super smart intelligent Labrador. There are a lot of problems but the main problem is that back and forth section right there in the middle you have a very very tense scene with a radio but then he keeps at least a dozen times he jumps back and forth between this this tense scene from that he jumps to these two detectives arguing, and nothing ever comes of the argument between the two detectives. The biggest problem with the argument between the two detectives is that it's running around in circles. You could tell he's like, okay, let me, let me postpone, let, I, let me try and build the tension for this other scene that's going on, but it just doesn't work. I've talked to several people, um, especially if you go over and check out my review, you'll see at least one person say, this was one of uh, the books that they didn't hate uh, by Dean Koontz. I think Obsidian Blue said that. Uh, in the comments section of the last Dean Koontz one, I know there's at least two people asking uh, where, when I was going to do The Door to December and that that book was their favorite. I don't understand it. I'm going to leave a link to my Goodreads review that goes far more in-depth with the problems that I had. I'm going to leave that down there in the doobly-doo. One last thing I want to talk about with this is you can tell that Dean Kuhn, this is right about the time Dean Kuhn started running out of ideas. You see all of the Kuhnsisms, the Kuhnsian nonsense that you see later in his career, but it's the repetition that you start to see the most of because just like Dark Fall, which was the book that was published before this one, of course this one was published under a pen name, but it seems odd that this one came out right after, under the Kuntz name, this one came out under the Kuntz name right after Dark Fall released. Dark Fall had some locked room mystery to it. This one has locked room mystery to it. Uh, there's a child that has to be saved at all costs that people are after. And, a la, you know, the, the Servants of Twilight. It's just you see so much in this book from other books. 
it, you can tell this is when he started to, to flag. Now, there are some great books coming up, at least that I remember. The Bad Place, Cold Fire, Strangers, all these great books that he released under his own, his own name, if Dean Koontz is actually his real name, um, under the Dean Koontz name, the most popular of his names. I'm, I'm honestly curious as to why he would decide to publish this one right after Darkfall. Maybe it's because he was working on Strangers. Now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm talking this out, maybe it's because he was working on Strangers, which is easily his longest book. The paperback copy I have is 670 pages. I think the one for uh, n none of the other paperbacks that I have go over 600 pages. This one is one of his longer ones. It's 510 pages. Uh, Watchers is about 500 pages. Even Phantoms is about 500 pages. These longer books that um, that he, he really pushing the limit. But I remember enjoying Strangers. So that one is up next. Uh, so I'm wondering if there was such a period of time. I didn't. I didn't research this. I will before I read Strangers. But if there was such a long period of time, he didn't have anything to come out you know, the next year maybe, so he decided to republish a pen name. I don't know. If any of you guys know, I'd love to hear from you down there in the doobly-doo. Have you read, which brings me to the question of the day, have you read The Door to December? I would love to hear from you. If you liked it, loved it, felt meh, just let me know why. If you loved it, let me know why you loved it. If you hated it, let me know why you hated it. If you were indifferent, I don't guess there's any reason for you to be indifferent other than you being indifferent. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Dean Coons book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! <laughs>